Well, hey there. I'm Jay. Welcome to my booth. I've got an interesting one for you today. We're going to take a look at the Fifine K669D dynamic microphone. It prices in at 37 bucks. And the folks at Fifine asked if I would be willing to take a look at it if they sent me the mic. So you know. Uh, first up, we're going to do a blind comparison between the microphone in question and the my other two broadcast style microphones, the Earthworks Ethos and the Shure KS or the Shure SM7B, and see what you think. But before we hop in, if you have any questions about this or anything else voiceover related, you're always always welcome to drop me a line below or reach out directly via my website where I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching. And new thing, if you wanna support what we're doing here and would like to keep it going, um, you can buy me a coffee. Link for that's down below. Let's dive in. Here we are on microphone A. Microphone A, how do you feel about this one? And here's microphone B. Microphone B, how do we feel about this one? And microphone C. How does microphone C sound relative to the other two? What are your thoughts? And back on microphone A. Microphone A. Back here. How do we feel about it? And back on microphone B. How does this one stack up to the other two? And back on microphone C. Uh, how does it sound relative to the other two? And one last time back on microphone A in the dynamic broadcaster series, uh, and we'll read some Winnie the Pooh. One day, when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. One day, when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. One day, when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. And microphone A was the Shure SM7B. And microphone B was the F fine. And microphone C was the Earthworks Ethos. All right, let's dig into it. So if you haven't already formed your own personal thoughts and opinions and you don't want me messing with them, do that now because I'm about to tell you what I think. So when the folks at Fifine reached out to me and offered to send me this microphone, the K669D dynamic microphone, as well as their uh, condenser counterpart, which I'll talk about in a separate video, when they offered to send it to me, I was skeptical, uh, to be honest. I, on this channel, am not terribly keen to become a product review guy. Uh, and the reason being, um, no offense to folks that do do product reviews, because they're obviously helpful to a great many people, but I want this to be a place where people can come in the voiceover community, the audiobook narration community, to learn stuff, ask questions for free without having to buy stuff. Um, so I was skeptical and I kind of pumped the brakes a bit. However, when I was speaking to the person at Fifine, they made the very, uh, good point that a lot of the gear that I have and talk about is not entry level. It is high level professional gear because I am a professional voiceover artist full-time, so I use and need for where I'm at in my career to have high-level professional gear. They made the excellent point that that might not be all your viewers, you silly goose. And I said, you know what? You're darn tootin'. And uh, so I said, sure, send them to me. I'll take a look. And I was, in all honesty, fully prepared to plug this in and be like, yep, that is a $39 microphone. Instead, I went, that is a $39 microphone, $37 microphone. Uh, this thing blew me away. It blew me, blew my socks off. For 37 bucks, I think it's fantastic. Uh, the sound of it is great. I mean, you can, honestly, 
I could talk to you about the nuances of this microphone, the differences between this microphone and other microphones, but really what it comes down to is if you are someone looking to break into voiceover and you're looking for a dynamic microphone, it's a great place to start, a fantastic place to start if you're in a budget conscious place. It does come with this little tripod uh, table stand mount. I would say, I mean, you're only spending $37. I would highly recommend if you have it in your budget to get a separate stand. This is probably going to have a lot of sound transfer issues as you're recording. Um, so something like a boom arm or a separate mic stand, I think would be beneficial. But otherwise, again, I could pick on the flaws of this thing. It's a $37 microphone. It's not going to compete with high-level professional gear. So the comparisons that I'm putting up are not tremendously fair, I would say. But it punches well above its weight class. And I think relative to other entry-level budget microphones, this is a certainly a contender if you're in the market for it. One last important note that I want to make before signing off here is this microphone, the Fifine K669D, relative to the other two we sampled at the beginning, the SM7B and the Earthworks Ethos, the big difference that you'll see is these two have foam pop filter windscreens on the front, which means they're going to sound a little darker, a little bit more muffled on the top end. Uh, whereas this one is just going to have a little bit more openness because it doesn't have the foam windscreen. Not a huge thing, just an important thing to note. I'll show you some samples of these two relative to this one without the foam windscreens. Now, then here's the Fi Fine without windscreen. And here's the SM7B with the windscreen and the SM7B without the windscreen. And here's the Ethos with the foam windscreen, and here's the Ethos without the windscreen. One day when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. One day when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. One day, when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. And with the windscreen. One day, when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. One day, when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. One day, when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. All right, I hope this was helpful for you. Until the next one, I'll catch you there. Toodles. Toodles.